Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be unboxing a brand new subscription box and this is a clothing service and it's a big giant box. This is the Nordstrom Trunk Club. So if you've never heard of this, it is a clothing subscription where they send you different items. It's very similar to Stitch Fix where they send you items, you get to try it on, see if you like it. If you don't like it, you keep what you like and you return what you don't. This is a little bit different from Stitch Fix. They do send you 10 items. I believe I have 11. I'm not entirely positive. I know I added something on that I liked. But anyway, the really cool thing about this subscription is basically you do get a stylist. So you pay a $25 stylist fee. But if you purchase something in the box, $25 fee does go towards it. But the really cool thing about this one that's different from Stitch Fix is you actually get to see the items that the stylist picked out for you before they ship. So I think it's either a 24 or 48 hour period where you can go on and like say if you want it in your box or if you want to remove it from your box. And then if you remove it from your box, your stylist will give you other items in place of it. And then you don't get to make like a second choice, then they just send it out. But it's really cool because you can also request things that are on sale or clearance, which I did actually get some items on sale or clearance, which is really, really cool. But I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. This is a little bit of a very not a little bit. This is a very large box, as you saw. There are quite a few items in here. I am also going to be doing a try-on at the end. If you are interested in trying this service, I do have a referral code that will get you $50 towards your first box. So your styling fee would basically be free for two boxes, or you can get something for $50 for free. So it's worth a try. And then even if you just cancel after that, at least you get something for free. Um, and I should say that there is free shipping both ways. The only thing that I'm kind of sad about is when the UPS guy came I was so excited when I saw this because I think it's so cute that it actually looks like a suitcase and I was like oh this is so cute I'm going to keep it well the only way I get to keep this box is if I keep all of the items which I won't be doing because that'd be a lot of money so unfortunately the items that you do return do get returned in this box so I don't get to keep it but it's okay I guess I really don't need a box so we're going to go ahead and get right into it and they do also include the tape this little silver stuff right here to return it and then they give you a prepaid shipping label that you just put on it to return if you're going to hear noise it just started downpouring i live in florida this is pretty normal we're just going to continue but when you open the box it says and now for the fun kind of unpacking and then you open it and it has all of your as i hit my lamp it has all of your items so i will say that they package this very very nicely your items do actually come like in sealed plastic baggies i guess you want to call it and it does come super nice i've already taken everything out of the plastic bag just to save time and because when this box arrived i instantly tried everything on already but that's okay so i've already taken everything out and there are quite a few items as you can see i keep hitting this lamp i'm just gonna knock it down one day and then it does also come with some information. So it says, we hope you made some room in your closet. And then it does come with the shipping label. It also comes with the two little stickers to put back on the trunk. And then it tells you about it. So it says, hello, Ashley. And it says, try on the clothes, tell us what you think, keep what you love, and then make your selections. So the only thing different too from Stitch Fix, I don't really know why I'm comparing the two, but I guess a lot of people know Stitch Fix. This one isn't as popular. But Stitch Fix goes through USPS, so whatever I return, I usually just stick in my mailbox. Nordstrom Trunk Club goes through UPS, and it did say that you can request like a free pickup on the app. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Or you can bring it to any UPS store, which is probably what I would do. Or you can bring it to a Nordstrom. You cannot bring it to a Nordstrom Racks, but you can bring it to the regular Nordstroms and also Clubhouse. I'm not entirely sure what that is, to be honest. But then it does, yeah, it does say I have 11 items. So then it does give you a list of all of the items that you have, the sizes, the brand, and how much it costs. It does not give me like a total if I were to purchase everything, and they do not give discounts if you buy extra, or like if you buy the whole box like Stitch Fix does. But I do have some items that are very expensive, and I have some items that are cheaper. I don't have the original prices on here, but you know what? I probably should just get that on my computer so that way I know. So in my box, I did request like sleeveless blouses or short sleeve tops that I can wear at work. And I asked for some black leggings, like really good quality because I seem to have a hard time finding that. 
think I did also ask for like a dress and like lightweight summery clothes. I did not get a dress. Happened with Stitch Fix too. I request one, didn't get it, but that's okay. They did send me quite a few legging options, so I'm super excited about that. So I'm just going to start with the most expensive item. And yeah, the second I touched these, I was like, wow, the quality is fantastic on these leggings. There's also a very high price tag. So these are from Allo. A-L-O, I believe that's how it is. And they are leggings. Very, very nice leggings. They're high waist leggings. They're normally $118, which I would never even pay close to that for leggings. They are on sale for 40% off for $70.80. I still would never pay that price, but I do have a $50 like referral code because this is my first box. So I do have $50. So if I just keep this, I'd be open to paying 20. They are a size medium. I said I was kind of like a medium or large, but they said because they have a sale going on right now and the virus, that they're pretty like short stocked on a lot of things, but they do also have the option to like exchange sizes if you needed, but they don't have it for this item. But these are such nice leggings. I'm not entirely sure how I feel that like the knee is a little bit different, but honestly they feel fantastic. And the second I tried them on, I was like, I really want these, but I don't know if I'm gonna pay that price. I really don't know. All right, so the next item is from Barber and it's their crop chino pants these are normally $120 they are carnation in color and they're on sale for $49.98 they're very nice I do have a color similar to this they feel like they could kind of be like lightweight it's a very pretty color though this is really good for like spring and summer such a pretty color I do own a pair from Kohl's so spoiler alert, alert I'm probably not keeping those but that is okay. So the next item is from Vince Camato, and this is their rumpled satin blouse. And this is in a medium. This was normally $59, but it is on sale right now for $23.60. Again, it is a medium and the color is fresh pink. The quality of this just feels really, really nice. And this is like a shirt that I would wear to work. So it is one where like it's shorter in the front and longer in the back, but that doesn't really bother me. This is super cute. This is like a top contender item. For sure. So next, I'm trying to go in order. Is this the right one? No, I had it right the first time. So again, I do have another pair of leggings and I actually chose these because it was a cheaper option. These are from Zella Live in high waist leggings. This is a large and they retail for $59. These also feel really, really nice. And if I don't go with the super expensive ones, I think these would be a pretty good contender because they do feel really nice. What does it say? Live in, high waist, four way stretch, moisture, anti-chafing, support is high, yoga and studio. Okay, cute. I really like leggings and I always used to get mine at Victoria's Secret, just like the cheap ones, not cheap, but the ones that they have for like 20, $25, they always rip, they get way too big. It's just, you know. Their quality has gone way down, but that will save that for something else. So next is the Caslon Boyfriend Blazer. And I did get this in a large and it retails for $69. So this is like very like lightweight summery material. Does it have real pockets or fake pockets? It has fake pockets. Come on, why do they have to do that? It's fake pocket stuff. Oh well, so here's what it looks like. You can kind of dress it up or dress it down. It actually looks like, I feel like it's easier to see on the model, but it's pretty cute. $69 again, but she gave me this, my stylist, because I got the matching pants. And this is from Caslon again. It's the new belted yarn dyed linen pants. And these are in a size medium. So they're just like super like casual, comfy, like summery pants. They do seem like they're really nice. These actually have pockets and then you can tie them at the waist. So this also looks like a really cool item. And then next is this shirt from Treasure and Bond Pin Tuck V-neck Top. And this is a medium. It color is Navy Vine Botanical Floral. This retails for $69. 
but I did just get notified on my account when I logged on to see the pictures that this is now on sale for 40% off. So it's $41.40. So that's really cool because I got my box yesterday, yesterday, and this was $69, but because it went on sale, it's now giving me the sale price in my box. But I wonder if that means if the price goes up, would I pay more? Hmm. I don't know the answer to that, but this is a really pretty shirt. It has buttons that go all the way down the shirt, but it is really nice. I actually like it more in person than I did on the computer, but I can't keep everything. I have so much clothing, so I don't know. Okay, so the next item is from Halogen and it is their pleat neck tank. This is a medium. It retails for $49, but it is on sale for $29.40. So here is what it looks like. It is a very high neck shirt. And then in the back, it does have like little buttons that you can put. It's super cute. I like the black and the white. This is a really nice shirt. I don't know how high it will. I do know how high it is because I tried it. It's pretty high on the neck, so I don't really like stuff like that. So I'm a little bit on the fence. But the next item is from Spanx. It's the Look At Me Now Seamless Leggings. These are in a size large, and honestly, they look smaller than the mediums and the other brands. But these are $68. Truthfully, I don't think I'm going to keep these. Like between the other two leggings, well, yeah, the other two, like the quality of this doesn't feel as good as the other ones. So I'll still try it on for the video, but I'm definitely not keeping those. And then I have a shirt. It's Gibson and International Women's Day Fancy Ashley Ruffle Detail Cap Sleeve Blouse. This is a medium in Chloris is the color. It retails for $54 and it's on sale for $21.60. So this is a really pretty shirt. When I saw it, I was like, I really like this. It almost gives me like Lily Pulitzer vibes in like a more bluish way. It's really pretty though. I like this shirt a lot. I like it more in person than I do like on the computer. And then the last item is from Kendra Scott. And this is a cuff that retails for $48. It does say the color is gold. But I actually got mine in silver, unless I'm crazy. It says gold. This honestly looks silver to me. But here it, oh, you know what? Actually, now it kind of looks gold on this camera. Wow. Okay, so here's the cuff. It's very, very pretty. But I have, I'm super sensitive with jewelry. I've said it before that like I can kind of turn metals because my skin is so sensitive. So this is pretty, but I'm not going to be keeping it. But here is what it looks like. It's very pretty though, and it fits nicely. You can like make it tighter or make it looser, very adjustable, but it is pretty. This is definitely an item that I will be exchanging. And it does even come with like the dust bag. So they go all out this company to make everything look very, very nice. But this was my first item. And as I've said, this is definitely going to be a no. There are some items that I'm still like honestly not sure if I'm keeping or not. So it'll take some time for me to figure that out. But then I should say when you receive your bag and then when the turnaround time to return it is five days. So you don't have a ton of time to decide. So I really need to get on it because I'm on day two now. But okay, we are going to get with the try-ons. And of course, just like my Stitch Fix video, it's raining, can't go outside. And I know the quality was pretty bad of me trying on clothes in the Stitch Fix video. So I'm going to try my best to make it look better today. No promises, but I'm going to try. Fingers crossed it happens. So it's on clearance for $21.60. It's, I'm cutting my head off. I gotta remember that. It's very cute. I love the colors. Some of the reviews did say it was super low cut, but it's not too bad on me. And I really like this shirt. It's a top contender. This would be perfect for work. And it also is a shirt that like, I could wear with leggings like this and be happy. So this is definitely a top contender for sure. And then I'm wearing the Spanx Look At Me Now Seamless Leggings. These are the large for $68. Honestly, knowing that I've already tried everything on and now I'm just doing it for the video, these feel a lot tighter than the other two pairs. Considering this is a large, it's a little bit weird, but I just, I know they're the Spanx ones, so they're probably meant to like keep everything more put together. But I think this is just like, I wouldn't pay $68 because I feel like I'm like a couple steps from them like ripping. They just like, I don't know. They feel like super tight for some reason. And I'm sure it's because of the material that they are. But honestly, I like the other two pairs of leggings better, which we will see in a little while. But I am going to get into the next outfit. 
Okay, so here is the next outfit. The pants are, if I can find it, the crop chino pants in carnation. They're on sale for $49.98, normally $120. As you can probably see, they're like, cut off my head again. They're too big. Like just, it looks super baggy here. And then it's even more baggy like over here. And just, yeah, they're not my, drop the paper. They're not my size for sure. Like I could, there's a lot of room here, but I never know my pant size. Okay, so this is the V-neck top. It's normally $69, but it is on sale for 40 something. It's cute, but I just, I don't know. I actually kind of think I liked it more yesterday when I tried it on. I'm not as big of a fan of it today. Hmm, that's okay. I can't keep everything. It's nice, but I almost feel like like right here, it's just a little bit constricting. Like I probably would have liked this one in the large. So definitely the top and the pants here, I will be returning, but they are still really nice quality. Okay, so the third outfit is definitely very interesting. It's different than what I go for. So this is the Carlson Boyfriend Blazer that is $69. Honestly, I don't think I could pull something off like this for sure. So I will not be keeping this blazer. I don't know. There's something about it. Like, I just, I don't feel like I can't pull off this look. I don't know. But let's take this off so we can actually see the shirt. Okay, so now that we have the blazer off, I do also have the matching pants. This is in a size medium and they're the Carlson New Belted Yarn Dyed Linen Pants for $59. They're nice. But I'm surprised they actually fit for a medium. But again, I like I feel like I can't pull these pants off. So like they're super fitted here because I have like wider up here. But then at the bottom, they're like completely way too big. So I'm probably not going to keep these. And then the shirt, this is, if I can find it, the halogen pleat neck tank in medium. It's $29.40. I really like like the color and it's like super, super flowy. That's for sure. But it's very high on the neck. And I don't know how I feel about that because I usually don't like like confining things on my neck. So I'm probably not going to keep this. And there is also like another pin, but I didn't do it all the way, but it's very pretty. If this wasn't so high on the neck, I would definitely keep this shirt like 100%. But I, I know myself, this feels like a turtleneck and I just, I live in Florida for a reason. I cannot do turtlenecks, just things super close to my neck. Okay, fourth outfit is on, had to do a little bit of a wardrobe change. TMI, but I had on a black bra and you could see it through this, so I figured I better get changed before I cause any issues on YouTube. So I love this shirt. This is the type of shirts I wear 100%. This is super, super comfy. This is the Vince Camano rumpled satin blouse in medium. It's pink, obviously on sale for $23.60. This is so nice. It's flowy. It's really pretty. It's longer in the back. This is like my type of shirt, 100%. So this is for sure I'm keeping. I'd even buy this in other colors. I love it so much. I feel like it's the material though that like if you get it like stuck on something or like your nail, it'll pull, which I don't like that, but I really like the shirt. So I'm going to give it a chance and it's worth the risk. If it pulls, I'll still wear it. Let's be real. And then these are the new belt. No, just kidding. They're not. These are the live in high waist leggings from Zella. Black, $59. These fit so much better for sure. They're like really nice. They're not too long. I probably should have put socks on. I apologize. They're really nice. Like I like these a lot. They feel really nice. Good quality. These are the ones I actually picked up. So I'm kind of impressed. I really like this outfit. This is definitely going to be at the top of my list for sure. Okay, and then the last item is the same shirt, but different leggings. And these are the Aloe Avenue High Waist Leggings that are normally $110 on sale for $70.80. This is a size medium. And surprisingly, they fit really well. I'm still not 100% like of how the knee is different. And these like do bunch up a little bit at the bottom, I guess because I'm a little bit shorter. The other ones seem to have like fit better lengthwise, but hmm, in terms of quality, I really liked these yesterday, but now that I tried the other pair on for $59 right before these, I'm trying to think because I almost feel like I like the ones that are cheaper better, which is actually good for me. But yeah, these are still really nice, but I don't know, something with the knee, I don't know. I like them, honestly, 
And I think I'm trying to talk myself out of them because they're $70.80. I just feel like one day they're going to rip and then I'll be like, oh, that was a waste. So maybe I'll go with the $59 pair. I'm still like deciding. I guess we'll give it some time to think, but these are still really nice. I would never pay $110 or $70 for that matter. Thankfully, I have a credit. I'll save the day. Okay, so we have come to the end of this video. I didn't add everything up because, I mean, honestly, I don't know if anybody would really buy absolutely everything in the bag. That would be a couple hundred dollars. So what I'm kind of between right now is definitely this shirt, possibly this shirt, and then I'm between the aloe $110 leggings, well, the ones that are on sale for $70, $80, or the Zella ones that are for $59. I honestly don't feel like a huge difference between the two. So I feel like I should almost, well, it's 60 versus 70. It's really only $10 we're talking about now. Ooh, I don't know. Go ahead and comment down below if you have any of these leggings, because maybe you're people who spend a lot of money on leggings. I don't, I buy super cheap leggings, like Victoria's Secret, not that great quality ones, or like the TJ Maxx ones that are like $12. So if you've ever tried, zella or aloe leggings go ahead and comment down below let me know what's best i tried looking it up on the internet and I, it said like at some point for leggings it's going to go expensive but then when you're going like the aloe legging brand you're just paying for the brand which i really just want to go with what's going to last the longest so if you know please comment down below this is probably a super long video i'm going to go ahead and end it here whatever i got in this box that i've tried on go ahead and comment down below what you liked the best because you could always help my decision I'm posting this video today, so when I post it, I'm still going to have like two or three days to decide what is today. It's Wednesday. I'm probably going to return this box on Saturday. So if you watch it, comment down below. Let me know what your favorites are, what I should get, what I definitely shouldn't get, because I feel like maybe what I think looks so good on me might not. So honestly, go ahead. Give me your opinions. I can handle it. I suppose I probably could. Yeah. But okay. Again, if you are interested, I do have a $50 referral code that I'll leave down in the description box below. I feel like I'm talking so fast tried on so many outfits it's like really really hot now but okay thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video